don't really care what you drive. It could be a McLaren, it could be a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. This is either gonna give you a run for your money or just basically beat your pants off. Simplicity is the ultimate goal here with a Tesla. It essentially looks like an Apple store on wheels. I mean, the value, there's luxury elements. We've got carbon fiber and leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. And here we are of the 2022 Tesla Model X Plaid. And we're actually gonna do a bit of a walk down today, look at some of the Quirks features as well as some of the different technology you're gonna find both on the outside of the vehicle as well as inside the vehicle. And then of course, we're gonna talk about what this thing's actually like to ride in. We're gonna go for a spin and actually look at the real hard performance levels that you can actually attain with this wonderful new SUV. We're lowering, we're lowering, we're lowering. And... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a face ripper, man. That thing f***ing hauls. Honestly, I can't keep it stable. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> man. You need that one. That, that's that, gonna... and, and it's just... Like, oh. I think the fact that you don't hear it, it's almost like... No, it's weird. Have you ever been on that roller coaster at Disney World? Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> See the braking, buddy. It's lacking. I heard it. I heard it. There. Well, it's almost like it's. It's not that it doesn't break. It almost seems like it's, it's like really, skidding. It's, it's struggling. Yeah. It yeah. Struggles. It's more of a traction well, and issue. And there's a trail because it's road, right? These, yeah. You have you have rocks and. Oh. Shit. But <laughs> it's yeah. heavy. You know, like honestly. That that is incredible. I'm a little <laughs> sick because I've been different. watching the screen. Oh. Yeah, that's that's. It's, it's still like it's nice and smooth. Like oh, absolutely. you can just go crazy. You can drive. You can uh, gradually ramp it up. I like that. None of this like clunk clunk. No, it's no, just it's like it's so. Yeah. Cause you, you've never you've never been in a. No, this first time for me. Yeah. An electric car for me at all. You, you're literally in the craziest. But besides the Plaid S, the craziest one out there. Oh, it's it's insane. I. Not disappointed at all. It's freaking ridiculous. That Ferrari was great. I mean, they add a little sound. That's the only difference. Yeah. But f man, for sheer, it's a different experience. It is, and you know what? It does, like you say, it almost feels like at one point you're like, is it going to run out? Is it going to run? No, it keeps pulling harder. It's, it's just it's, that, that's what they did better on. It's crazy. <laughs> it does like when you do that. It does. It does eat up battery pretty good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're pulling, you know, how many kilowatt hours is that? <laughs> a thousand horsepower, that's 700 kilowatts at, yeah. you know, a couple of seconds. The whole battery is only 100 kilowatt hours. Yeah. So it's not. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can be doing, this is where the lackluster part was last time. It's like, you're doing 70. Yeah. Whoa. But you can punch it. <laughs> and it still puts you in the hole. Holy smokes. No, that is incredible. No, that is freaking amazing. I. You're right. There's nothing like it. I Wait, mean, there's, and there's one more. All right. Well, let's take it from the top. Beautiful styling. Typical. What we have here with the Tesla. Super clean headlights. Always something to behold. Of course, here this is a newer design theme. You've got these inlets here. You'll find this on the newer generation of the Model X. The outgoing model actually had a little bit of a toothpick holder there. This style is much cleaner. Of course, the overall look and the front design of the modern day Teslas, well, really all Teslas for that matter, is that they are just so dialed in, so clean. Why is that? Where's the radiator? Oh, wait a minute. There is no radiator. That's because it doesn't run on fuel and doesn't need coolant to cool it. But anyway, enough about that. Let's go around to the other side. And here we have the standard wheel package. We have 20 inch wheels with this particular package. It's a great touch, well balanced. It looks well proportioned. But with this, it actually helps with fuel economy a little bit, as well as overall comfort and ride quality. Maybe you give up a little bit in the corners, but not enough for most people on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a beautiful style, great design. Over here, we now also have, instead of your typical vents that you're finding on most cars, they like the badge themselves. You know, whether it's an M car and a BMW or RS or some kind of badging is always placed here. Not in the Tesla world, they use that space for a set of cameras right there that you'll notice on the back side here for your blind spot monitoring and further detection for your computer. 
And here, the mirrors, beautiful fold away. Tesla, everything is automated. But I can't help but point out the reference that it looks a lot like my Jaguar F-Type. Of course then, as we slide along the upper door sections here, we've got two handles. They're really just a punch and then they, the door opens up. And that goes for both sides. A great clean shave look, absolutely very attractive. And the fact that they distinctive with the black trim makes them very, very attractive. And a quick touch, and it's an auto open on the door. Allows you to get in right there. All right, and then when you walk away, the door actually knows with that key in your pocket, it's gonna auto close itself. And when we look down here, I can't help but point out a lot of SUVs these days are actually gaining this sort of in popularity and we're including a lower plastic trim here that's actually gonna protect the bodywork from a lot of the stones on the ground that you typically find in some locations. So that's a nice look and it's gonna allow the vehicle to wear very, very well over years to come. Then we circle around to the back and again, another very clean style of light that you're finding by Tesla. Love all the LEDs. You know they're gonna be the most techie LED available in the market and they don't disappoint. Beautiful touch. And here as we slide along, high gloss piano gloss finishing, wonderful look. Down here, you'll notice this piece here, it no longer says plaid. Early generation models did say plaid. Now they include this beautiful little logo here. Down here is also a slightly revised touch from the older generation Model X. This is updated, very nice piece, and consistent with the rest of the design theme. And then as we look right here, beautiful wing. Absolutely just enough accent at the back here to make it interesting. Now these are fixed in the current generation Model X, so what you see is pretty much what you get. The older generations had some movement in there, but this is pretty much as you see it. So what we have here is the oversized, what I'd say is not for lack of a better word, but essentially iPad screen, and this is sort of the central controls for Tesla and pretty much every one of their models. Down here you have a whole selection of different options to gain access to your different features and elements. And of course your control specific to the vehicle you'll find over in the bottom corner here. So as we walk down, you can see every control available. You've got from your pedals and steering, suspension, charging, you know, locks, lights, display, your trip, trip computer information, navigation, literally everything is available at the touch of a button right here on the center screen. In the control section, of course, we've got great features. For example, like sentry mode. I've personally seen where somebody showed up to their Tesla if they came out of the store and the car was keyed, but then they realized that they could go back and monitor and saw exactly who was that did that and it was they caught it all on camera. So that's a great feature. And then down there, we actually have the light show controls. Great feature. A lot of fun, makes the car interesting. It's really more about the fun and a great way to show the kids at the, gift, at the birthday parties. Pedals and steering section right there. Of course, you can set your different modes. You've got chill mode, which is essentially chilling out. It's very slow throttle response, nothing too exciting. Sport, of course, gives you a pretty good punch. And plaid mode, which is the full 1,020 horsepower of fun and frivolity. And then you have the drag strip mode right there, which essentially lowers the car, gives it the full beans, and allows you to take off with minimum coefficient of drag at about 0.24. And then in the entertainment section or theater, you can actually watch Netflix, YouTube, and of course Disney channels at your whim. And of course, in case you're probably wondering, it doesn't actually work for the driver to watch while you're moving along down the road, but it does work in the back here for the little kidlings as you're driving down the road. So down here, if you wanna alter the heating controls, right here you touch the temperature and it gives you a whole selection of menus from you know, auto, cool, heat, all of those factors are here. Now you can also here, as you notice, you can turn that on and that heats up the steering controls right there. Turn that off, not really needed on a hot sunny day. And of course heated windshield there, and of course heated seats, fully controllable right here. And then if you just want up or down the temperature, you can toggle that, slide that up, slide that down, and you're good to go. So then in the charging section, you'll notice it has your typical range. In this case, we've got 465 kilometers left of range. Our last charge took about $9.90 to fully charge. And then of course there, you can actually toggle the amount you want to charge the battery to the max. You can go up to say 80, 90% is optimal for normal deterioration of the battery. And if you want to take a long trip, maybe bump it all the way up just to get the extended range. Huh. Hey, who's back there? See, here you go. Essentially, you can look at all the cameras on the car by toggling through. And you can see what's going on there. So you can select to drive forward. You slide it forwards on the left-hand side. Or go in reverse, and it gives you the backup camera prior to doing so. It's a great little nifty touch. And of course, instead of your control on the stock or down in the console, 
Tesla is elected to do it all via the screen. Right there, and you've got wireless charging there for your cell phones, two sides, easy to use, and it's always there for quick look. Of course, we've got the centralized location here too, great. You can give that a push, it slides back, push it again. Of course, nice little extra cubby hole there, a couple of cup holders here, and you can go further. There's actually a larger compartment down and below that you can access for further hiding of goods. And another little great little quirk is the sun visor, which actually hides away neatly until you use it right there. And you've got this fun little bite-sized flip down here on the other side has a mirror on it. Beautiful, nice touch and allows you to maintain sort of some of that look that you get and you gain and enjoy by running the Tesla Model X. So we'll slide this back and it's out of sight, out of mind. Other cars haven't really gone that full thought process, but this is clearly a nice finish here. Up here, soft touch everything, lights, easy to use, beautiful touch there. And on the back, you'll notice you've got a small glass panel on the roof for the kids as well, they can enjoy a little bit of light. Naturally up the center section, you're not able to enjoy a full glass panoramic situation because you've got the Falcon wing doors and all the structure and mechanics are in here. And the great thing about this car, the Model X Plaid actually only comes in the six seats. As you can see, we've got two in the front, two in the center, and two in the back. If you get the standard Model X, of course, you can get five, six, or seven passenger seats. This is just the way it works. That's just how they come equipped. All right, let's summarize with the PETA score. We've got three major factors, reliability, value, as well as performance overall. Let's give you the numbers, the hard facts. So after the drive in this Tesla Model X Plaid, I have to say 1,020 horsepower is just a little more than it takes to move this thing comfortably down the road. In other words, this will crush virtually any supercar. I don't know, I don't really care what you drive. It could be a McLaren, it could be a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. This is either gonna give you a run for your money or just basically beat your pants off. Because in a straight line, performance is nothing short of spectacular and breathtaking. And the handling is relatively mundane. It handles very well for a vehicle of this size, but I must say that the brakes are a little bit shy for a vehicle. Not that it necessarily are poor brakes, but because this vehicle gets up to speed so quickly, so unexpectedly, so easily, that it is absolutely just almost too much. It overtakes the brake potential. And I think that would probably be a weak point in the brakes. But other than that, the performance is just, again, nothing but astounding. And I easily give this car an eight and a half out of 10. The only reason it can't make up the more numbers is like I said, maybe in the future Tesla, we'll start up looking at upgrading suspension as well as brakes. Then we talk about value for the money. Firstly, we have to say, well, look, I mean, the value, there's luxury elements. We've got carbon fiber and leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have so many electronics and features built within this car. It's hard to dismiss. It really is amazing. It's an awesome vehicle, full of value. It's all wheel drive. It's great for inclement weather. It actually has seating for six. So you can haul the kids and the wife and the fam and even those people maybe you don't like. You just haul anybody you want in there. There's enough room for everybody to go around. And with that level of value, it's hard to deny. Now, the only thing with value, I'd have to say, fit and finish, noticed on the model that we're driving right now, there are a few gap issues, which you hear about Teslas, and we see some of the fitment problems where it doesn't totally align from one door to the next, or you see other lines down here where it's just offset a little bit. It's something Tesla is continually working on, trying to make improvements, making them better and better. But overall, as a value proposition, even though 130K US is a lot of money, think about all the other factors you're getting with it. It just seems easy to justify. And the overall value proposition rings in again as an eight and a half out of 10 because it does everything so well. And lastly, we can't ignore the obvious and that's reliability. If we're talking about a Tesla, there have been some problems in earlier generation vehicles, most of which were programming problems. I know a lot of the other EVs out there struggle with some of the reliability, overcharging batteries, battery management, causes a lot of issues. Tesla is ahead of the game. So in terms of overall reliability and their programming, it's gotten a lot better. It's tenfold better in the current generation than what you'd see in some of the earlier models. And because there's no internal combustion engine, you're not dealing with leaky valve cover gaskets and blown turbos like you're gonna get in a BMW. No, this vehicle is simple. It's going for simplicity is the ultimate goal here with a Tesla. It essentially looks like an Apple store on wheels, but it's amazing. And it's all simplicity and clean cleanliness of design. It's amazing. As well, I can't help but tell you, the supercharger network, especially as you go further into more populated areas, for example, California, they're everywhere. 
there's no challenges with range anxiety down in the States. Sure, if you live somewhere up in Northwest Territories, you live on the outskirts of the flat, you know, the globe where you fall off the edge of the earth, that might be a place where you'll struggle with some of the charging. However, if you live in a relatively populated area, charging is really not a problem. And again, overall reliability, I put it at an eight out of 10. And that gives a grand total of 25, which is actually a pass, double pass, because 20 essentially is the win-lose. Great car, amazing, and definitely worth a look. If you want to get into EV, this is the king of EVs right now. And with all of that said, uh, my breath is still taken away, just to be honest. If you want to see more great reviews, right there, two more for your munching. Hope to see you guys real soon. Catch you then. Bye-bye.